Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're doing a full face of Hourglass. I cannot wait to do this video. This is so exciting for me. We are doing everything from this brand. I am not using any other brand. We are featuring the new 2020 holiday collection palettes. Can't wait for you guys to see how they swatch and apply. So without further ado, let's get started. to do this video because I am a huge fan of Hourglass Cosmetics and not just because I have mature skin because I really think it caters to all ages honestly especially if you have textured skin you want products like Hourglass Cosmetics on your face I know they're pricey I get it but they're worth it so we're gonna start off with the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer this primer is amazing you guys I've talked about this multiple times on my channel it runs 20 to 75 dollars you have the standard at 54 dollars the mini at 20 and then the value size at 75 dollars and I'll put the price per milliliter right there is to show you what is worth it as far as purchasing this product It's always gonna be worth the standard size or the value size because when you buy the mini sizes you're really buying it to try it but you're paying a whole lot more milliliter or gram wise depending on the product this is an amazing amazing primer for my girls with sensitive skin whether you have oily skin or dry skin I don't feel like it affects it either way so I really feel like it's that primer that is really good for everyone. I just don't use it a lot because it's expensive. <laughs> I went through my full size and all I have is my actual travel size, which I like because when I travel, I love to use this. And it makes your face feel so incredibly soft, like a baby's skin. Next to the Derma Blend that I just reviewed, if you watched that video, if you haven't checked that video out, this is my new favorite primer, you guys. Besides Tatcha, I love Tatcha, but this one is incredible. And then this has always been my number one. So I don't know, like these, this one, this one, and my Tatcha, wherever it's at, is they're all tied for first. It's just this one's expensive, <laughs> but it's really, really good. Let's move on to the foundation. So we're gonna go with the Vanish Seamless Foundation Sticks from Hourglass, and you guys, I love this product. This is by far the best foundation stick, in my opinion, on the market. Now, Huda Beauty just came out with one, so we will have to put that one to the test when I do a Huda Beauty video coming up. But for now, we're gonna stick to my Hourglass, because this is an Hourglass video, so I'm so excited. So I have two colors right here. It comes in 30 two shades so a pretty good variation of shades golden natural is more a medium with an olive undertone and that's my great summer color but warm ivory is more light medium with like a golden undertone i am a little bit more on the pale side than i normally am so i'm gonna go with my a winter color but i am gonna kind of speed through this process because it's nothing new and i'm gonna use my vanish stick uh foundation brush which i absolutely love this brush you guys you know i rave about it for concealer and foundation it's amazing and it's 46 dollars. it's a wonderful brush all right let's get this foundation on so i can cover up some of these imperfections so this is warm ivory just so you guys can see and you know i have studio lights so it makes it look a little bit lighter than it really is just keep that in mind you guys when i'm looking at in my mirror it's a lot darker than what you guys are seeing on camera and then this is golden natural just so you guys can kind of see so the difference right there yeah that's a huge difference right kind of and then we'll see i like to just draw the stripes on my face that's probably a lot but you know that's how I do my makeup. Everyone's different. You can go a lot lighter than that. It's all up to you. You can even do it onto your brush a little. Like you can actually do the brush onto it. Like take your brush and just kind of swirl it on the top as well. So it's however you prefer to do it. But this brush is so good. Okay. 
I just think Hourglass is just so made for mature skin. I said that in the beginning of this video. It really, really is. It's so, so good for mature skin. I cannot believe how incredible and flawless your skin looks. All right, let's go in with the concealer. So I did review this concealer at the beginning of this year when it first launched and I used Oat, but Oat is gonna be a little too light for me right now, I think. So Fawn is supposed to be light medium with yellow undertones, but to me it looks more pink and Oat is light with warm undertones. So I'll show it to you guys right there. So we have Oat right there and then Fawn right there, but I don't know about you guys and I don't know if you can tell on my camera, but Fawn looks a little more pink than yellow to me, in my opinion, but we're gonna have to make it work. And it's okay, sometimes I do have some dark circles because I haven't been sleeping that good. So sometimes when you wear peach undertones, it will cancel out the dark circles. So I'm not completely mad at that. And I have a lot of yellow tone concealers. So we're gonna try Fawn first and then we can brighten up with the other one. Yeah, it's definitely a lot more peach then and the thing about this concealer is it's so creamy if you guys want to see the full in-depth tutorial go ahead and I'll link it right there check out that video but I'm just gonna kind of speed through this really fast just taking the same hourglass brush now it did come with the I didn't come with it I bought it and I used the brush in the video a smaller concealer type brush that you can really get in there and get into those little areas but I said this on the last video, I prefer using a bigger brush because I feel like I just wanna get the job done. <laughs> I just wanna get it done. I don't wanna sit there and take forever doing it. And let's be honest, I use a lot more concealer than probably the average person. So, you know, that's how I roll. It's actually a really beautiful color. I thought that was gonna to be too peachy for me, but it's actually really, really pretty. So I'm not mad at it. And I don't really feel like I need the other one to lighten it up. So the good thing about this foundation stick too is that I forgot how amazing that concealer is. Holy guacamole, that's good. Wow, that's a really good concealer. Oh my gosh. I forgot how amazing this concealer was. I haven't used it in a hot minute because oat was too light for me and I just had too many other concealers to purchase another one. So pretty. I know it looks a little pale right now, but it's okay, you guys. It's gonna all come together at the end. All right, I'm gonna take my Hourglass powder. You guys know this is my holy grail setting powder. There is nothing better than this Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. It is the ultimate best. Whether you have dry skin, oily skin, I don't care what kind of skin you have, normal skin, this is the best powder on the market, in my opinion. My opinion. <laughs> I should say in my opinion. All right, I'm gonna take my Chikahoto Z-Series brush and we're just gonna set the face. I didn't use a beauty blender at all. Usually, typically, I would use a beauty blender when I set my powders, but I don't have one damp right now because I really didn't need one for this, for this line, or for this the products I was using on my face. And I'm just blotting for now since I don't have the beauty blender. I like to not go like this to make sure I'm not like, moving around any products. That's the only reason why I'm doing it this way. Then as soon as I feel like it's dry enough, then I will, and it dries down pretty fast. It's a stick foundation. All right, let's warm up this face because we, you know, we're a little, little on the pale side right now. <laughs> so we're gonna try out these new products. Now we have two, so obviously we're doing one tutorial. I'm not gonna take this off and do it again. So <laughs> we are just gonna kind of play with what we wanna play with and we'll swatch and do all that stuff. All right, so we have the six pan palette and then we have the quad. So we'll start with the six pan because there's three new shades. The four quad came from a previous palette, so I, I will get to that one in just a second, but they're not like brand new shades to the market, although you cannot purchase these shades separately, so just so you guys know that. And these are limited edition, so once they're sold out, they don't bring them back. So these are the mini sizes that you would pick up in like the travel section at Sephora or on the website it says minis, but beautiful shades. I mean, just the packaging alone is so 
pretty. So you have three existing shades that are available separately, and then you have three brand new shades. So we'll start off with Dim Light, and that's from their Ambient Lighting Powders. This is available in a full size and mini size. It's more of a neutral peach beige. It blurs imperfections, highlights a radiant complexion with perfect balance of warm and cool tones. And then there's Diffuse Light right there, which is my absolute favorite. I love this one for under the eyes. It's a soft, warm, pale yellow that conceals redness and gives the clarity of a soft ray of morning light. Let's move on to Mood Exposure because that is one that is already existing and you can buy separately. It's a soft plum fused with Mood Light to brighten the complexion. And then we have three new colors. We have Glistening Strobe Light, which is more of like a pearlescent champagne. And that is a new one, so it's not already existing in the collection. And it looks more peachy to me. It has more of like a... I don't know, it, it, you know, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Luminous Light, and I'll show a swatch comparison right there between Luminous Light and the new Glistening Strobe Light. Luminous Light is something I talk about on my channel a lot, and that's champagne with like a pearl powder, and it gives like that incandescent candlelight lit with from within glow and I love using that one as a blush topper. Let's move on to the bronzer in this palette. So it's a brand new shade. It's called Natural Bronze Light and it's more of a neutral bronze versus like Radiant Bronze Light which is the only one I own separately and that's more of like a warm bronze infused with like a radiant light. And then we have Vibrant Flush which is another new color and it's a blush and it's bright coral pink. There's no description for it, but it does remind me a lot of Diffused Heat, which they do sell separately, but it doesn't pop a lot on me, the Diffused Heat. So we'll see how vibrant flush is. And I think there's a little bit more yellow tones into that diffused heat one. So you guys can see the swatch comparisons right there as well. But very beautiful shade. I love this gold packaging. I think it is absolutely stunning. We're going to use Diffuse Light on my Wayne Goss airbrush. I'm going to show you guys how it looks underneath it. That's why I love these little brushes like this airbrush one because it is so nice. So I haven't even really set my eyes and you just notice I haven't, I haven't creased. So that's really nice. All right. We can kind of use this mirror a little too. Really pretty. Do you guys see that? It just kind of just really softens that under eye area. And then I'm gonna show you guys what the highlight looks like. So this is the strobe light and this is the new shade. So this is what it would do. So pretty, like, right? It's so beautiful. Like just like a subtle glow, I wanna say. Very beautiful, very beautiful color. And now I'm just gonna kind of buff that out just because I'm gonna be putting other colors on. But very pretty actually that was a stunning color so if you let's just say you are like me and you really like like that punch but you're on a day where you're just like i don't really want to put any makeup on i'm just gonna put like you know sunscreen on or just something really light and run out the door this might be a beautiful one this is what i would do if i was if i had this i do have this palette <laughs> this is what i would do with this color to not waste it i would put that on and then just give myself a nice little glow and run out the door and it doesn't look like I could never do that with a metallic highlighter. There's no possible way. It wouldn't even look right. <laughs> I mean, you can, but it just would look a little funny. So this is why powders like this are so beautiful and so forgiving on anybody with textured skin, mature skin, whatever the case is. All right, let's try out this bronzer. So yeah, the, the downfall to these little palettes a little bit are that they're, the pan size are so small, you have to go in with smaller brushes. This one might be even a little too big, so I might actually go in with this Chica Hoda one. And you guys know I love using this for my bronzer anyway. So we'll try that one out on this brush. Make sure you dust off anything. And then we'll just kind of... Oh, it's really popping though. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm gonna stick to this side only because I'm gonna use the four quad and show you guys the difference on the other side. Oh, that's pretty. Actually, that's really pretty. Actually, that's a really pretty color. I honestly didn't think I was gonna like this color in this palette, but it's really beautiful. Do you guys see how it just melts into the skin and the more you buff it out, the more it like almost disappears? But yeah, that is really, really pretty. Wow, that's a beautiful color and you can build it. Let's. 
Let's just build it up and see what that looks like. See, look at that. You build it and look, build it and he will come. Field of Dreams, one of the best sports movies of all time. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Let's see how it's just starting to now um, kind of warm up my skin and get it not so pale. Wow, that is so pretty, you guys. Okay, we're gonna use the number two hourglass brush. I have been loving, it's a foundation blush brush, so you can use it for either or. I've been loving this for blush. So I'm gonna go into mood exposure, okay? Just lightly dust that, and we're just gonna kinda see what that looks like over. So very pretty, very beautiful, looks good with my top. Very beautiful blush, very soft. If you've never used hourglass blushes you guys they're amazing i just reviewed at night and this is a gorgeous color if you haven't seen this video i just did it in my get ready with me and it is beautiful absolutely beautiful all right let's go in with bright poppy just on top of that just because i kind of want to see what that looks like so oh oh whoa look at that oh that's intense that's intense let's take some of that off oh my goodness okay Let's go in and just smile. Whoa, okay, so yeah, that gave it that pop. That is a gorgeous color. Oh, oh my goodness. Do you guys see how, I have a lot of texture going on underneath my skin right now. And do you see how beautiful, beautiful these blushes go on? If you are just like, you love blush, but a lot of blushes intimidate you or you just, they don't go on your skin very well. Invest in an hourglass blush, you guys. Love that. Wow, that six pan palette is actually really good. All right, let's move on to the four pan palette. So we have the mini ambient lighting edit sculpture palette. And what I love about this one is it actually has a metallic highlighter. So very excited about that. Let's go over these colors though. So these are all shades that are not sold separately. And these were fan fame. So they brought these very, very wanted colors back. The first one is from their ambient finishing powders, which are what they're famous for. And that one is in soft light. Again, a color you will not find outside of this palette. And that color is a very beautiful, like peachy undertone type color. I really like that. I actually like it better than dim light. And then we have the bronzer, which is golden bronze light. Now this one reminds me more of radiant light. So look at the swatch comparisons between the six pan sculpture palette, the quad unlocked, and then my radiant bronze light that I have on hand. And you can kind of see that this one is like a deeper version of my radiant. So I think this is gonna be the answer to my prayers, <laughs> hopefully when it goes on the skin. And then we have the blush, which is in mood flush that doesn't have a description. This blush right here, if you guys look at it, doesn't look like it's infused with any of their ambient lighting or ambient strobe powder. So I'm wondering if this is just a straight up blush with their lighting technology in it. If that's the case, I wonder if there's gonna be more pigment in that. And then we have the last one, which I'm so, so, so excited about. And this is their metallic strobe powders. And this is called Champagne Strobe Light. This is not sold in this a three pan metallic palette. So if you're thinking, well, I already have the metallic lighting powder palette. Why do I need that color? It is not a color that's in it. I'm going to show you guys the comparison swatches. That one is definitely kind of in between. I want to say those two. So this one's more yellow. That one's more pink. Obviously that's more, more bronze. And then this to me is like a combination of those two. Very beautiful. All right, let's dip into it and see how it applies on this side of the face. So again, I have nothing on that except for I did do a little bit of that um, strobe powder. All right, let's go in with the bronzer first. So I'm gonna make sure I dust that off. It definitely is more warm. I can even see it on my brush. Very beautiful. That is the first layer. So definitely I think more warm than this side. This is looking more warm because I have the blush on top of it, but Wow, yeah, that's beautiful. You'll never get blotchy or over cakey with these powders. Their technology settles that problem for everybody. Seriously, like, honestly, like, look at how beautiful that is. That's insane. 
All right, we're just gonna build it up one more time, okay? I just wanna build it up one more time. I just wanna see how much depth I can get out of this. So pretty, wow. Okay, let's take the blush now and we'll see how much we can get out of this guy. So same brush, I already cleaned it off and we're gonna take that and we're gonna take this and put it on. Oh, that's pretty. You can build it though. I mean, do you see how much that's building up? Yeah, you can completely build this one. That's gonna make a really pretty eyeshadow too. Wow, that's really beautiful. And don't worry, I'm gonna blend all that out in just a second. So the reason why I've not like buffed anything out yet is because I wanna use this soft light from the ambient lighting powder. See how that just smoothed everything out. Do you guys see how beautiful that powder is? Look at that, see how it just softened everything out? And now it's gonna look a little different because I have different colors on my blushes, but I mean, it still blends, which is nice. All right, let's go in with this metallic highlighter. So excited, so pretty, oh my gosh, so beautiful. All right, here we go. Gosh, I feel like I've been doing so many highlighter videos. Oh boy. I have the new Pat McGrath one sitting right there and I'm dying to try it out. I'm filming that video tomorrow. But my goodness, do you guys see how beautiful and just wet and juicy that is? Oh my gosh, so good. So for my girls out there that like like that strobe highlight, this is the quad you want. It's worth it for just the strobe powder. That is so beautiful. Ugh, I can't handle it. These highlighters need to stop being so beautiful. The Natasha one I just rated and it was so good too. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see how like forgivable they are too? They, they didn't accentuate any of my texture. These are the kind of highlighters you can place up here. You're not gonna have any problems. So I'm not gonna just say for mature skin because there's a lot of women out there, even under 20, that have a ton of texture on their skin and acne breakouts. These are phenomenal. So if you have teenagers out there, I know it's kind of pricey for a teenager. I get it, I get it. But if they're responsible enough to wear makeup now, like honestly, this would be a beautiful Christmas present because if you can get it during the sale time too, like seriously, that is so beautiful. You've got a setting powder, a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter in one quad. Okay, we're gonna move on and we're gonna do this part kind of in a really quick manner just because I don't want to take too much time on this video. This is the Hourglass Archbrow Micro Sculpting Pencil. I did try this out uh, last year in store and I didn't find the right color. I actually purchased it, brought it home and I didn't like it because I don't feel like it really did anything. The color was way, way too light for me. So I did go with Ash, which is gray, dark brown with cool undertones. I don't know how it's gonna work. We're gonna find out. It's almost like the benefit precisely my brow, but even smaller, even more fine tipped, I think, than the benefit. Then on the other side, you have just a regular spoolie. So very similar, very beautiful hourglass packaging as always. Let's see what it looks like compared to my benefit precisely my brow. Let me show you the difference between the 3.5. So actually the ash, is a little bit lighter than my 3.5. So it might actually work out pretty good. So it won't be so harsh because sometimes my brows can come off a little harsh if you go too dark. This is a very beautiful color. I thought I was gonna completely dislike this product. Yeah, that's not a bad, that's not a bad color. All right, you guys, so I finished my eyebrows off camera and then I did set my uh, eyelids with the Hourglass Concealer. And then I used a little bit of the diffused light as some of the eyeshadow just to kind of set the area and set the tone for these shadows I'm about to use. So I have two eyeshadow situations going on right here. So I have the Graphic Eyeshadow Palette in Myth and this is the one that had all mattes in it. I thought this one would be so incredibly beautiful. I've never tried their eyeshadow, so I was so excited. I thought this is a full face of Hourglass. We have to use all Hourglass products. I also have these little shimmer pots. These were really popular, like I wanna say last year. These are the Shattered Light Glitter like pots and they run $29. I did get this like olive green color. How beautiful is that, you guys? That is the most 
stunning shade. It comes in nine shades, and this one was called Vivid, and I love green tones. I don't know if you can tell by now, all my videos, I do green looks, <laughs> especially as of late. I don't know why, maybe because it's fall now, and I'm like, I just want to embrace all the greens, and I think they look so beautiful on brown eyes, so I'm really excited to try this out. So we're going to try out the mattes, and then this little glitter pot, and I'll show the swatches right there. So this eyeshadow palette comes in four different variations. So that first shade is Warm Beige, Dusty Rose, Neutral Peach, Soft Brown. Then we have the Charcoal Brown. Let's just dive into this eyeshadow palette and we're just gonna do a really quick, this is not gonna be a more detailed eyeshadow tutorial. Check out my other tutorials if you wanna see that. But I just wanna do something a little bit more quick because we're, you know, we're, we're, getting, we're getting lengthy here on this video. We had a lot to try on. All right, we're gonna go in with that color right there, that first one, so pretty. Pretty. That's like that perfect, like beigey, uh, like a yellow toned, uh, just a setting one. I could have not used the setting powder and used this, but that's okay. We're gonna go with the middle one as my transition shade, and we're just gonna see how pigmented that is. My eyes have a lot of texture on them right now, so if this glides over my texture, then we're in good shape. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's really pretty. So soft and buttery. These are fantastic mattes. If you're looking for a good matte palette, oh my goodness, these are incredible mattes. Some of the best matte formulas I've ever used. All right, so we're gonna go in with that second color right there. This is just a tighter brush and I'm just gonna kind of go below that color. Oh, so beautiful. This is gonna be one of my everyday go-to palettes. Wow. Now we're gonna take this color right here because I just wanna see how that one builds and you can use that one as a transition too. I'm gonna take that one further out and bring it in. Wow. Do you guys see how simple and pretty that is? Whew, that's gorgeous. All right, we're gonna go in with an even tighter brush. We're gonna take my Sonia G Mini Booster. We're gonna take that darkest color right there and we're gonna just smoke out that outer edge right here and remember looking up really allows you especially if you have hooded eyes to really get into that crease how beautiful are those colors i mean i could have that done in five minutes seriously less than five minutes oh my gosh if you have textured eyes at all or mature skin oh my goodness that is so beautiful. I don't have anything on this brush. It's just what was ever left over. I'm just blending everything. Wow. That's gorgeous. All right, let's try out this green now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So we're just gonna go with our finger because I have a feeling this is gonna be one that you wanna... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Do you guys see how buttery and beautiful that is? Oh my gosh, you guys. Why have I been sleeping on these? Where have I been? And there's so many beautiful colors I wanna get my hands on in this one. They're so like cushiony. It's like cushiony. It's interesting. It's like an interesting texture. Stop, stop it. Stop it, you guys. This is one of the most beautiful formulas I have ever used. Okay, I'm stocking up because I'm filming this before the VIB sale or the Rouge sale in my case. Yeah, I'm getting more colors of this. That is insane, insanely beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna take my MAC 242 now and just make sure that we can get into those little areas. You guys, the most stunning formula and color I have ever used, ever. Any outs, I mean, this is on top of any Pat McGrath, any, any formula, not Tatasha Denona, anything. This is the most stunning color like my perfect color and it looks so good on brown and hazel eyes oh my gosh 
Yeah, I'm getting my hands on more colors. That's incredible, incredible. All right, I'm just gonna take this brush right here and we're just gonna go into that darker color again with Sonia G Mini Booster and just kind of buff out those edges a little. Wow. Oh my gosh. I didn't want to love it so much, but I do. It is like stunning. I never in a million years would have thought hourglass and eyeshadows. I don't know. I just, for me, hourglass is powders, blushes, bronzers, anything powder related is hourglass for me. Concealer is amazing, but eyeshadow? <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna speed through this lower lash line. Same process as I did on the upper lash line. Taking the, I'm gonna mix these uh, two together and just kind of go underneath the lash line. All right, I'm taking this uh, Chica Hodo eyeshadow, just more of a precise point, and I'm taking the darker color and just going to go tight to the lash line, as I always do. Instead of making it like a harsh line, I'm actually going softer. I'm gonna take that Chica Hodo brush I was using, and I'm actually gonna take some of that green, and I'm gonna pop it right here. There. Just for fun. Look at that. Ooh, that's pretty. All right, we're gonna move on to the lips. So if you guys are not familiar with the Hourglass formula in lipsticks, probably the most beautiful packaging I have ever seen. So that's the lip color I have. This is Confessions Ultra Slim High Intensity Refillable Lipstick for $36. It's 0.9 grams. It comes in 30 shades and they are refillable. So the refills are $22 once you run out of the shade. I have never tried it. I did get One Day, which is a nude pink. This was not part of the holiday collection because those colors were more on the red and burgundy, I think burgundy side of things. I always showed the picture right there. But just not colors I would use, so I wanted to get a color I would actually use. I love this packaging, you guys. Oh my gosh, they are stunning. I did get the Hourglass Lip Gloss. This comes in 18 shades, it's $30. So I have a lot of golds and nudes and champagne colors. So I really wanted to try something different. And I thought it'd be really, really pretty with this lipstick. Oh my goodness, you guys. Can we just focus on this packaging right here? Can we just talk about how incredibly beautiful that is. I mean, ugh, you can hurt something with this. Like this is a multitasking thing. Like literally, if you were carrying it in your purse and like somebody came at you, there you go, you got protection now. <laughs> not that I would ever do that to anybody because I can't imagine hurting anyone. <laughs> I'm not a fighter, I'm a lover. <laughs> this is so beautiful though. I love the fact that you can refill these, but I don't have a refill to actually show you guys. So when I do, I will do a separate video on that. And it's called One, oh, so the name of the product is actually on there. It's called One Day. How pretty is that? I love this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at that pink. Oh, so beautiful. Okay, we're gonna try this on without a lip liner just to see what the color looks like. My lips are so chapped, I can't. I mean, I've been putting everything, everything but the kitchen counter, what's that saying? Whatever, you guys know what I mean. I'm putting everything on my lips and nothing's working. They're just dry. Ah, oh, so creamy. Definitely a color you can just totally wear on your own too. You don't even need a lip liner with this guy if you don't want one. So yeah, you don't get a lot of product in this. I'm not gonna lie. It's expensive, but I mean, who doesn't want this packaging, right? All right, so this is the lip gloss. It's like a doe foot applicator. Really nice, beautiful, luxurious. Packaging is on point. Oh wow, there's a lot of pigment in this gloss. Oh, that's beautiful. That just gave it like a more fall-like look. Oh, wow. Okay, hold on, hold on. The applicator was ooh, intense. Let me find my favorite lip brush, E42. It's not for your lips, but I love it for Sigma. I love this to kind of help. Just 
just helps kind of spread it around and then I'll go back in in a second and fix it. You get a lot on those doe foot applicators, so be mindful of that. You don't want to waste product. All right, I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts in just a minute. We're gonna just pop on some lashes off camera and then I'll be right back. All right, you guys, this is how it all came together and I cannot tell you how amazed I am by everything I put on. Hourglass is such a fantastic cosmetic company. It is cruelty free, it is clean, it is amazing for sensitive skin. Whether you're 18 or you're over 60, this is the most incredible line. I am telling you guys, I did a full face of Hourglass and I cannot be happier with my makeup. Even the eyeshadow, I never thought anything would be like, oh no, there's nothing better than Pat McGrath or Natasha Denona. This is just as good. Okay, let's just do a quick rundown so you guys know what you would like to purchase and what my thoughts are on it. Let's start off with foundation. You guys know the Hourglass foundation stick and the primer two of my ultimate favorites. So if you're on the market for a foundation and a primer, those are excellent choices if you're an Hourglass fan. I, oh, what was next? The concealer, oh my goodness. So I didn't think I was gonna like this color and I absolutely loved it. So maybe I do well with peachier tones. Just a little misleading on the wording because I was like yellow undertones? That's not really much of a yellow undertone. But anyway, the Hourglass Vanish concealers are incredible. It's one of my most viewed videos this year. Come on people, view my channel, subscribe, please help me out here. But honestly, this Hourglass one, I don't know why, but people love Hourglass. I know they're pricey, but people love them for a reason. Beautiful concealer. I forgot how much I loved it. I didn't have to mix it with anything. It was just outstanding. And then the powders. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, sorry. Veil Translucent Powder, you guys know, this is my holy grail setting powder. Amazing, won't bake with anything else. Let's start off with a six pan palette. This sculpture palette is unbelievably beautiful. At first sight, every single color. I have those two colors, so nothing different for me. I'm not, I like dim light, but I don't love it, okay? Love diffused light. I mean, literally, I just took my Wayne Goss uh, brush I was using to set earlier. And what I did after I put my lashes on is I just took that diffused light and just like right here, just pressed that in. Oops, I got a little mascara right there. That's okay, we're gonna let that dry. And look at how beautiful and flawless that looks. That's insane, that's a really good technique I just taught myself. <laughs> so I really like that. All right, so the rest of this palette. The bronzer, I like, it's beautiful. Uh, it's more on the cool tone side, but I thought it was really beautiful as a nose contour. So perfect, loved the vibrant, oh, it just, I wanna call it vibrant poppy, but the other one's called vibrant poppy. So beautiful, that blush. It's gonna be gorgeous in the summer. This one is beautiful. It's actually one of the most popular ones. Not my favorite, okay? This is not my favorite, but it's beautiful. Let me show a picture right there. Those are all the blushes I own with Hourglass, including these two palettes that I just reviewed. And you guys can see right there, actually out of the unlocked, that last one right there, I think is my favorite. And then the At Night, that first one that I reviewed in the last video, the Get Ready With Me, I thought that At Night one I wasn't gonna like. And I can't believe how much I love that blush. It is so beautiful and it's very different from what I already have. That second one right there was one I already own and that was probably my least favorite. I'm glad I bought the mini on that one. I really like the uh, one from the Six Pan Palette. That's a very beautiful summer color. I probably won't use it as much in the winter, but it's very beautiful. And oddly enough, I do like that last one from the Unlocked Mini Palette. I actually think it's a really beautiful blush and it's a lot deeper than I actually thought. And I think that one's not infused with any of the powders. And I think that's why it's providing a little bit more pigmentation. So those are the blush swatches. All in all, that Six Pan Palette is beautiful. It's $80. It's a hefty price point. I understand that. I completely understand that. And if it's completely beyond your means, I get it. I understand. But this is a limited edition palette just to let you guys know. So if the sale's still going on and Hourglass runs some Black Friday sales a lot too, you can go on their website. I will link both of them on the bottom. I do get credit for Hourglass and for Sephora. So just so you guys know, Hourglass Cosmetics is also available at Nordstrom. I wanna say Bloomingdale, Neiman Marcus, Netta Porter, 
and beautylish.com. So it is available on multiple websites. Wherever I find the product, I will put the link. Again, my link, my affiliate links really help me out, you guys, if you use them. It helps me to provide more new makeup tutorials and more new makeup reviews because I do pay for all of this myself. So I really, really appreciate when you guys do uh, use those links and it's no extra cost to you. But let's go over the price breakdown in general because I know you guys are looking at it going, $80 Christy for that palette. So now I want to roll over into this page and we're looking at the price breakdown. So $80 hefty price tag. These are considered the minis. Okay. The travel size ones that you buy. So 1.4, some of them individually are 1.3, but this one, all of them are 1.4 in each one of these pans. So if you were to buy all of these little pans right there you see in the six pan palette individually it would cost you a hundred and forty six dollars to have all six of those individually okay if you were to buy them and they were available individually which some of them are that would be a total of 8.4 grams that would be $17.38 a gram if you were to buy those individually, which brings me to not buying the mini sizes if you really like them. I understand because I buy the mini ones. I have a lot of the mini ones. If I would have really broken down the price before, I probably would have said, what were you thinking, Christy? You dumb dumb. Like that's insane. Like for diffused light, I use that so much. I don't know why I did that. So if you really like it, it is a much better price point to buy the full size. $4.80 a gram versus $17 per gram. You guys, that is insane. Had I known that, had I really broken that down in my mathematics, I'm not I'm not really that good at math, but let's be honest. But anyway, had I really broken it down at that time frame, I bought this a while ago, I would have said, what were you thinking? But in my defense, I was like, am I gonna like this? So I kind of was playing that game. Now that I know I like it, when I repurchase it again, I probably will go for the $48 one because it just doesn't make any sense. So my point being is you're getting six of these minis in one palette and three of those colors out of that six pan palette are not even available individually. Even though you're probably saying, well, Christy, $8 a gram is still a lot of money. I get that. Trust me. I get that. The thing is with hourglass is that you're paying for quality. You're paying for products, especially if you have mature skin or textured skin, no matter what age you are, you're paying for products that are going to make your makeup look flawless. Okay. You're going to look like you have an Instagram filter. I'm a 42 year old woman. Does my face look like I have a ton of powders on, which I do. I don't, it doesn't even look like it in my opinion, okay? I do really feel like it just melts into your skin. You can go crazy with these powders and it literally melts into your skin. Did I think every single color was my favorite in that palette? No, there was that one blush color, which is one of their most popular blushes, which some people may think is really beautiful and it depends on your skin tone, right? I just didn't like how it didn't show up enough for me on my skin tone. But anyway, I do feel like that six pan palette for me being an hourglass lover was worth it and it was limited edition. So I will get my hands on something if I really, really like it. And the majority of the palette I know I'll use because even though dim light isn't my favorite, it's still a beautiful uh, buffing powder. Okay. And then it has my favorites in there too. And I really do like that bronzer. Let's move on to the four pan palette, the quad. So again, that one is a repeat. So if you already have the one from a couple of years back, then you don't need that palette. But if you didn't get your hands on that, like I didn't, you now have it available to you. And those were four of the most popular shades that Hourglass has ever done. So that's why they came back with this edited four quad palette. And it's beautiful. Again, looking at the price breakdown, you're looking at $58, a total of 5.68 grams of product, because it's 1.4 grams per little pan, $10 per gram. If you were to buy all of those four individually, which you can't anyway, but just in general, if you were able to buy some of their minis individually, it would be, and if they offered it individually, it would be $98 total for those four. So you're getting a good, bang for your buck, okay, with this four quad. And this quad to me was completely worth every dollar, every single color in that quad I love. I think it is beautiful. I think that blush was the only one that I was a little reserved at first when I was actually applying the makeup, but 
after the fact, I love that blush. I actually went in and put a little bit more of that on. And I love that metallic strobe highlighter. I love the bronzer is beautiful. I like that warm tone. I do wish Hourglass, like I said before, would still come out with something a little bit deeper. I do, so I don't have to keep building it. I would like it for it to just build right away. This is the closest one to build right away though. I do feel like that even over the radiant bronze light. I wouldn't even purchase the radiant bronze light anymore. I have the mini of that one and I'm glad I stuck with the mini because it just wasn't deep enough for me. Even though the texture is incredible, impeccable, amazing. Like I said, if they would come out with a deeper bronzer, it would be my top bronzer just because it's just so beautiful, especially on mature skin, you guys. I'm telling you, it's just so, so beautiful. And I really like that ambient lighting powder. Oh my gosh, you guys, that one is perfection for buffing. It buffed my skin to perfection. It is so beautiful. So hands down, that is my favorite out of this collection right now the holiday collection. I didn't get the two lipsticks. So as far as like the six pan palette and the four pan palette, that was my favorite. It was just a standout. It was so beautiful. Those four shades are worth it to me. So really keep that in mind when it comes to buying Hourglass products is whenever you buy the mini, you're paying double, more than double the amount per gram. So just, I understand maybe you don't always have, and I always looked at it this way too. Well, I don't have the full 48 or $52 for the blush. I don't have that full amount right now, but I still want an hourglass blush. Then I get it, you know, cause they do last a long time. They do, I'm not gonna lie, they last a long time. So, you know, it's just all in how you look at it. That's how I looked at it at the time. And that's why I do have a lot of the minis because when I was first starting out, in YouTube and just makeup, luxury makeup, I, I didn't have the funds to really go out and buy a $48 powder or $52 blush, so or a $48 bronze or whatever the case is for the full sizes. And I really wanted to try them out because I, I always knew how amazing they were. So very happy with that. The eyeshadow, oh my gosh, this is worth it to me. This is one of the most beautiful palettes I own, seriously. This is a home run for me, especially all being matte. I really could have left the glitter off and created the most beautiful matted look with this. Smoky browns, I love that. I love that there's no black because I use a black separately anyway. So I, I'm i a big fan of the smoky brown look and I think they look gorgeous on brown and even blue eyes and uh, especially green and hazel. Oh my gosh, one of the most incredible palettes I own. There are a couple others that are maybe tied with it, but. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Can we just talk about this glitter? This green glitter is, I got to get my hands on more of these. They are so worth it. Again, pricey, but yes, worth it. I have so much texture on my lids right now. So much texture. And it just glided on as if I had 18 year old skin again. I mean, so beautiful. So if you have mature skin and you have a lot of texture on your eyelids and you're like, I have to stay away from glitters and shimmers, you don't have to with these. These are phenomenal, phenomenal. The best glitter product in a little tub like that I have ever used. Insane, it's so good, I'm so impressed. The lipstick, I love the packaging. I love the packaging. The formula is good. I don't know if it's my absolute favorite, but the formula is good. Would I want to keep this in my makeup bag? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, seriously, like this is like the most stunning packaging I have ever seen. I mean, it's like Christian Louboutin, you know, like they have a very expensive makeup line. He does, but it's kind of reminds me of that, but even better to me, like I love I, anything gold I love. I'm just a gold obsessed person. I have been for, <laughs> since I was 18, like seriously, like I love gold so much. That's all I wear. And it is so beautiful. The color is really pretty. I do want to try the red one. I kind of want to try the red one now. I, I think I have to buy the red one. It's just that Allure Best of Beauty one. I think I have to get that blue red one because it, it does look really beautiful. Maybe I'll create a different look with that. I think that's it, you guys, right? Oh, the lip gloss. So the lip gloss, I it grew on me. I actually love the texture of it. I was just having a hard time with the applicator, but it's pretty. It is really pretty. It does kind of get all over the place, though, so you have to be a little careful. Am I missing anything, you guys? I think that's it. So that's my full face 
of Hourglass. I do eventually want to get my hands on the setting spray. I might do that in the Sephora Rouge sale. I heard it's really good and it kind of like gives you that luminous effect. I just kind of steered away from it for a little while because I tend to like more of a matte look. I'm not really into luminous looks. It just depends on the look I guess I'm going for. But for the most part, I tend to like more mattifying ones and I love my Morphe one and it's like a quarter of the price. <laughs> but anyway, I did want to do a full face of Hourglass and I'm so, so happy. I didn't even put any setting spray on. I literally, because I'm literally going to take this off after, but I am not going to do a wear test on this video because I I already know how hourglass powders work. I just was trying out new colors. They work phenomenal, okay? They will last you all day, I promise you that. But this is just came out so beautiful. Let me know if you guys like that. Let me know if you liked any of these palettes, if you have your eye on any of them, if you wanted to get them, if you already have them, if you already use their powders. Talk to me, you guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of this look. I love doing videos like this. This was so fun to do a full hourglass face. I am so excited. I can't wait to keep trying on new makeup. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. Join my glam fam because I do upload new videos, you guys, every Sunday at 8 a.m. Pacific time. I love hearing from you guys. So please comment below and follow me at Christy Allure. I can't wait to do more stuff on Instagram. So I really appreciate it if you guys follow me. I'm trying to build my following there as well. And give this video a huge thumbs up. That really helps me in the algorithm. And I really love you guys. Thank you so much. And I will see you on the next video. Bye. Better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead. Go